John Kelly reviews No Hard Feelings on June 23rd, 2023. A cash-strapped woman takes a job to seduce an awkward teenager in No Hard Feelings. Maddie Barker, played by Jennifer Lawrence, is a 32-year-old Uber driver and bartender in Montauk, New York, who is on the verge of losing her mother's house due to rising property taxes. After her car is towed away by ex-boyfriend Gary, played by Eben Moss Backrack, Maddie is desperate to get a new car to earn enough Uber income to pay the taxes. Maddie answers a Craigslist ad by wealthy helicopter parents Laird, played by Matthew Broderick, and Allison, played by Laura Benatti, who wants Maddie to quote-unquote date their 19-year-old son Percy, played by Andrew Barr Feldman, before he leaves for Princeton in the fall. Percy is an extremely introverted teenager and Maddie's early attempts to seduce him fall flat. However, as the two begin to know each other, Percy slowly starts to come out of his shell. No Hard Feeling Synopsis No Hard Feelings is a sex comedy co-written and directed by Gene Stupnitsky of Good Boys. The film stars Jennifer Lawrence as a desperate woman who is hired by equally desperate parents to take the virginity of their son, Percy. However, Maddie's seduction of Percy ends up being more difficult than anticipated as their first encounter ends with Maddie getting maced in the face. Throughout the summer, Maddie and Percy begin to get to know each other. It eventually reaches the point where Percy starts developing real feelings for Maddie and is soon ready to take the next step. However, Maddie becomes increasingly concerned about how attached Percy is becoming, resulting in her having second thoughts about the whole situation. My thoughts on No Hard Feelings On the surface, No Hard Feelings is positioned as a raunchy comedy that sees Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Lawrence drop a multitude of F-bombs and get into several sex-related situations, probably the most eye-opening being a skinny-dipping sequence set to Hall & Oates' Man-Eater. However, despite the raunchy content, No Hard Feelings ends up being much more akin to a traditional romantic comedy. After the initial attempts of straight-on subduction, Maddie and Percy, played by relative newcomer Andrew Barr Feldman, begin dating for Rio, with the latter's growing attachment to Maddie becoming a real concern. No Hard Feelings also serves somewhat as a social commentary about the dual nature of the beach community of Montauk, New York. Maddie and her friend Sarah, played by Natalie Morales, and Jim, played by Scott McOffer, are lifelong residents of the town who every summer have to deal with the wealthy elite invading the community. It is the one percenters' vacation homes that have resulted in the rising property taxes that is threatening the loss of Maddie's family home. In some ways, I wish No Hard Feelings focused more on this divide. A wasted opportunity in the film comes from the introduction of Percy's male nanny Jody, played by Carlo Mooney, who is positioned to be somewhat of an antagonistic figure with connection to the rich jerks of the community. However, when Jody does show up again, it is only to be the butt of a joke. Foes going into No Hard Feelings expecting the film to be on an American La Pie level of sex comedy raunchiness are probably going to be left a little disappointed when the raunchy content subsides after the first act and the film falls into some of the stereotypical romantic comedy tropes. However, the romance of the film is still kind of sweet, despite the 13-year-old age difference between the uh, principal characters. Ultimately, No Hard Feelings is an okay way to waste an afternoon. I give the film three and a half stars. Positive notes for No Hard Feelings. A sweet connection between the main characters, despite the large age difference. Interesting social commentary about the duo nature of the beach community of Montauk, New York. Negative notes for No Hard Feelings. Most of the raunchy moments in the film is sewed on, happens in the first act. Uh, Falls into the uh, typical rom-com tropes in the third act. Uh, Possible antagonist is just made the butt of a joke.